back in Forza Horizon 4 and continuing con blah, blah, blah. continuing on from a couple of seconds ago. Well, it's big minutes because I had to wait for the sun to rise so I can take a picture of the thumb for the thumbnail. But it's been a couple of minutes and we are going to be unlocking ourselves the Nissan Pulsar. And to unlock this car, you simply need to do 50%. And now to get to 50%, it takes a bit of time. Uh, you need to do the Forza Thorn, you want to do the Showcase Remix, you also want to do at least two championships. And because I did the um, championship to get the Peugeot, I had to do this one to also, you know, increase my um, my completion. Um, if you've done the online adventure that works throughout the month, then you will always like be already done like 20% or something. But I'm too lazy to do multiplayer, so I haven't done it, and I had to do it the long way and suffer like some other people have to but i've done enough that all i have to do is the pr stunts and then we have the pulsar so let's go do some stunting so we got a speed one a jump one and another speed one so this is mostly off-road so i'm probably gonna grab myself a, like an off-road car and go hit a jump Obviously, I am already in an off-road car, but it's it's an A-class car, so it's not fast enough to do most of these. So I'm going to hop over to my cars, go by class, and go to X-class. And get this very handy Ford. The Hoonigan Ford. I mean, the Hoonigan RS2000. RS200. Damn it, why do I keep mixing up? Sometimes it's 2000, sometimes 200. What is it? It's 200. Oh god. RS200. There you, there you go. Okay, now. Where do I go for the jump? It's like over this way. Yeah, it's right there. You want to just aim basically for the end and then drive at it as fast as you can. You probably want to use rewind a lot because this is not going to be perfect or smooth. I'm gonna feel the many bumps like right now. That wasn't lined up well at all. And you wanna hit it as straight as you can. Basically, what you wanna do is aim to get as close to the other side of the lake as possible. And most of the time, you will, you know, achieve this on the first go, which is neat. And there's another speed one here, and it's also on dirt, so you wanna also maintain your dirt car to, you know, do these. And the next one, you just get your fastest X car or S2. X, X, X. You want to get your fastest X class or S2 class and do the last one, which is, I think, a speed trap. Yeah, because this is a speed zone, the other one will be a speed trap. So yeah, you want to get yourself a speed trap car. A speed trap car? I mean, a car that will do speed traps really well. That's what I mean. Bam. Arrived at your destination. Completed. Okay, let's switch cars real quick. Uh, boop. Class. X class. What should I get? I don't drive this often enough, and it's terrifying to drive. It's so light. Okay. Now, fast travel over here. I'll fast travel to the house, I guess. And then drive down the road. So this car is scary fast because of how because of its lightness. What's this? Look how fast this thing is and grippy. It's so grippy. Look at the downforce. <laughs> We just did all that in, in first try. How awesome was that? Okay, that means we have ourselves the Nissan Polestar. Polestar? I mean Pulsar. Nissan Pulsar. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, there we go. Finally. Okay. Now let's... Actually, I'm gonna drive back to the house because I've spent a lot of time you know, upgrading these cars in like the festival side and it just doesn't look that nice because it's just like a very clinical white light and I want to give you guys some natural light so 
some natural light so you can see the car what it looks like in the daylight. I'm just gonna drift all the way to the entrance. There we go. Castle View Road. This is a nice house. Honestly, I would genuinely buy that house. It looks nice. Oh my god, controller! I have this- my left bumper is completely like crappy so lightly tapping it will set it off pretty much like you don't have to really tap it it's just like your finger like touches it and it starts doing shit it's it doesn't click anymore that's why see like i'm just lightly tapping it and it just goes and it's not even completely reliable too sometimes you tap it and nothing happens Okay, so where's the Pulsar? It's like a 2006 car, isn't it? It's up here somewhere. No, no. How old is it? God. There it is. That Pulsar looks like a hatchback. Isn't it a wagon, though? Oh. I thought it was a wagon. Huh. It looks like a wagon. <laughs> like you could literally ex you can put uh, like a uh, rear seats and then extend the rear so it has space to put shit in and it's a wagon <laughs> okay whatever we, we're just unlocking a hatchback it seems like uh what do we got for customized oh my god i've never seen this many engine swaps in a car ever holy crap so we got 3.2 liter inline six. I don't know what engine that's from. Uh, actually, I probably wouldn't know what any of these engines are from. We got two liter inline four. What's VVT? I know T is turbo. I don't know what the VVs are. I don't know my engines that well. All right, don't yell at me. Um, inline four turbo. It's a two liter as well. 2.6 liter inline six. Twin turbo. This is probably from a Toyota, maybe. Uh, inline 4 Turbo Rally. 3.8 liter V6 Twin Turbo. And uh, 4 Rotor Racing. So, a uh, dentist drill, this one. I'm probably going to engine swap it on this one at a later time. But, I want to drive this car. With its already cool stuff. Oh my god. We have all these engine swaps and you guys can't put like really nice looking customizations. I guess I'll put that arrow on. Okay, let's put some rally ties on because I'm gonna rally this thing. Let's see how far we can push these out. Oh, they stick out. Look at that. They stick out. I'm gonna put some sporty ties on this one. Uh, let's see. I like these. And I'm just gonna max out the stuff. I'm gonna put rallies on them. The rally suspension. Or in reality, I think people call them long travel suspension. So I'm gonna put those on. Let's see, let's bump up the turbo. Whoops, we went into intercooler. Um, it puts us into S rank immediately, but look at that turbo lag. <laughs> It'll take so long to spool up and then... Bah! <laughs> Power! Okay, let's just do the other stuff. I think we should get it to um, max A class in no time. Yep, there we go. We got a Max A class rally car or dirt racing. I don't think this would be any good at cross country. Also, I'm gonna lower this because, again, I like the Peugeot I just did a couple of minutes ago. It it's too high with the rallies. Um, I'm gonna lower this to like 13. So it looks stockish. This sounds cool. Mm. 
literal popping when you shift up sounds nice. <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay, let's take it to our dirt racing test track. Over here. This guy. This guy. Look at this guy. I might paint it like a blue or something. Because in the little teaser picture they showed up before the update released, it, this car was in like a blue sort of thing. So I might change in blue. It also will help with my thumbnail because I don't like black cars for the fact that the detail is like missing unless you put it in an area there's enough reflection going on that it returns the detail that's missing from choosing a dark color so i might make this blue i think a nice blue would really fit this car I'm not even driving on a track. <laughs> okay, let's take this jump. Oh, why did I even break there? What the hell's wrong with me? I can definitely say that this car would also be good at S1 racing. Just for the fact of all those engine slots. Like the V6. Which is probably the most powerful engine there. Maybe, maybe the Turbo Rally might be able to output more power. But that V6 will probably do pretty well as well. Oh, God damn it. I was on my way to come in first, and then he just like, yeah, no, I'm gonna like stop you right there. Puts his fat ass in front of me, and I crash into it. And just barely through, I just tapped it. Well, I'm in first now, so that's nice. Moved out of the way. This car off road is fantastic. And all I did was put on like the basic upgrades to get it to A class. Like, if you're like a really good at tuning this car, you can definitely make this car really good. And because the AI is really far behind us, I'm finally doing the jump. Look at that. Such a nice car. I'm, I'm gonna do one more race just to show off how nice this thing is. Better than... At least it's better than doing the championship that for the other car. Oh god, that one sucked. This one, bit much better. Should we do this off for nah, No, no, we're not gonna do something too crazy there. Oh, uh, let's see. There's an off. There's a rally race here. Let's do that one. Funny thing is recording the other uh, video, the Peugeot, it took like 40 minutes. This one's, probably gonna, this one's probably gonna take less than that, maybe even 19 or 20 minutes. Like, the reason the video for me this video is kind of long is that I'm playing with this car way longer than the other car, even though that was a 10 minute race I did. I don't know, it took less time to unlock this, technically, video-wise. Whatever. Let's just enjoy this car. It's a nice car. Yes. Yes. Look at us. Just doing really good rallying. No. I don't know what I was doing back there. That was weird, I could have caught up if I kept my handling a bit more smoother. And I just kept flicking the thumbstick around. <laughs> Hit the brakes. Oosh. Okay, let's see if this thing's got speed. I bet if I put like longer gears on it, I think it would have a higher top speed. 
Because we're not catching up, he is pulling away. Uh oh. I think I would have come first if I had passed him in the rally bit, in the off roady bits, but I didn't, and I missed my opportunity. And now I'm gonna come second. And I've come second. Well, that kind of sucks. That's fine. Okay, let's go color this car. Because I don't want to put a thumbnail of a different colored car. And then everyone watches this and goes, Wait a minute! <laughs> and just sees a black car the entire video. So let's color it. I bet no one's going to watch it this far, honestly. But you know what? Let's, doing it. let's do it anyway. Because no one can say shit. When they catch a different colored car. Oh, there's the blue that we saw in the picture, I guess. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, so paint groups one die. What's paint group two? Oh, okay. We can make that white. And paint group three. the hell really <laughs> okay interesting okay we're just gonna paint the entire car this because that's what the actual picture of the thing was so yeah we got ourselves a nice blue pulsar i almost said pulse star again oh, thank god i didn't see it well i'm ending off the video here let's pop in a forza th uh, forza vista so you can see the car um, if you like this video, definitely hit the like button like you would do on any other video you liked. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button, but put, would, uh, bleh. if you didn't like the video, also comment why you didn't like the video so I can improve my videos in future stuff. If you want to see more of these videos, because I do these weekly, most of the time, sometimes, uh, reality stuff gets in the way, but... Yep, uh, at least 80 to 90% of the time I do a weekly video. I'll release a, one video a week on the unlock cars because we only do get one car a week some, most of the time. Except for the, this month, which is special. We got two cars for two weeks, which is interesting. Um, okay, moving on. But if you want to see more of these videos, hit that subscribe button. Um, I do want to get to a thousand subs because... That's when you can actually finally monetize your videos and might maybe make some kind of money out of it. I don't know. Uh, I want to get to a thousand. Please get, help me get to a thousand. Uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. We are